Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I trust you guys had a safe and beautiful entry into 2019. We're in 2019. Yeah. It is a completely different year and personally for me, I am so excited that we're in 2019 because I'm so over 2018. 2018 for me was a nightmare. So as you can see down below, this video basically explores New Year's resolutions versus realistic and achievable goal setting so for me i'm personally someone who doesn't wow how rude okay so for me i'm personally someone who doesn't really go for new year's resolutions i am somebody who typically goes for realistic goal setting so i thought that this would be a poignant and important video to actually share at the beginning of the year especially in the new months of january um because this is the time when a lot of us are actually looking to figure out what we have got planned for the new year, uh, what route we want to take, what we want to achieve, when we want to achieve it by, how, and so on and so forth. So if you would like to see what my take is on this whole New Year's resolution versus realistic goal settings, then definitely do keep watching. Okay, so as I said, for me, typically, I'm not somebody who goes with the whole New Year's resolutions. The real reason behind this is because, let's be honest and let's be frank, New Year's resolutions, a lot of the time, when people plan New Year's resolutions and what they want to achieve in that year, they don't necessarily achieve all of it or they make unrealistic expectations of what they want to achieve and when they want to achieve it by so for me it just really doesn't make any sense because i feel like when you make an unrealistic expectation for what you achieve and when you want to achieve it by you sort of say set yourself up for failure because now you feel like you're working against time if something isn't achieved by a certain amount of time you get stressed you get upset about it and things like that and you just really make things a little harder on yourself than they really should be so for me new year's resolutions it's not really my cup of tea but i do subscribe to actually wanting to set some sort of goal for yourself setting goals in which you feel like um you know you want to achieve a certain something in a certain part of your life by a certain time of the year oh another thing a reason why i'm actually wearing a sweater i'm wearing a sweater is because it's been raining for the past maybe five days like continuously non-stop and it has been cloudy and cold so for me the only thing that made sense to me is to develop realistic goals develop a realistic goal which basically means something that is much more easy achieve easier achievable uh something that you know that you can accomplish within a shorter space of time you don't give yourself too long to accomplish it but because it is more easier it is more realistic so you know saying something like you quit alcohol i get saying that you want to quit alcohol but don't tell yourself that you want to quit alcohol in the space of one year i think when it comes to something that is so serious i think it must be a realistic goal that you implement in certain segments so say that you want to reduce your alcohol intake this year and not have alcohol as much as you did in 2018 for me that would make sense for me that is something that's more tangible as compared to saying that you know what hardcore new year's resolution i'm quitting alcohol this year every single time you drink alcohol that's going to be the first thing you're going to think of you're going to think of oh, I can't whereas if you tell yourself it's a realistic goal setting and you tell yourself that i want to reduce my alcohol intake then it is different then it is something that is um more tangible and more easier to achieve in small increments and small steps so when i talk about realistic goals i talk about one things that are tangible two things that are general and things that are personal so i normally segment the two. Oh, by the way there's going to be a blog post about this whole topic so by the time that blog post goes up this video is gonna go up so if i don't have it linked down below i probably will have some time this week okay okay 
So basically for me, a realistic goal normally gets split into two. When I am setting my goals for the year, when I'm writing it down and I'm organizing myself and I'm planning everything step by step by step, what I want to achieve, how I want to achieve it and when I want to achieve it by, definitely I'm writing that kind of stuff down. I am not the type of person who will just be thinking like, let me put it all in my mind and then I'll remember everything. I am not that person. I'm very, very good with planning and things seem to work more efficiently for me when I'm planning. So when I set realistic goals, I definitely segment them into two. The first being general, the second being personal. So personal involves personal growth, personal development, what I want to personally change for myself and work on setting these goals for the year. And then there is general, what I generally want to be or change or work on or become better at generally as a person towards other people. No man is an island, okay? We all live together. Okay, so there's general and there's personal. Normally it gets segmented for me because it makes things easier for me when I have when I look at them sort of step by step. So let's talk about what I mean by the category general, general. So general for me basically looks at things like, say for instance, I want to move and move house and I want to relocate. That is something that is general. General sort of also technically also feeds into personal for me because if I want to move, there's a certain reason why I'd want to move. But also consider that there are people who just really want to move because they don't like being in the same place at, you know, for a long time or for a certain amount of time. So maybe you might want to move from your job. Maybe you want might want to move from this particular suburb to another one or this particular city to another one or this particular country to another one. There are certain people who like to constantly be versatile, flexible and appreciate living in different environments. So moving could be seen as a general goal setting. So you could start the year off by saying that by June, I want to have relocated from Johannesburg to Cape Town. That is a thing. That is something that is uh, not easily achievable, but is tangible enough for you to work on. So you work on looking for new places, looking for a job that's in Cape Town, and you might achieve that goal before the six months, on the six months, or within the year later on. It doesn't really necessarily matter, but it is a realistic goal in which you can uh, work on in terms of its tangibility. Okay? Okay. Another thing I also consider is things like um, being more productive. So if you want to be more productive generally, in the general scheme of things, you want to be more productive at work. You want to be more productive at home. So instead of having someone to um, clean up your house six times a week, you would rather have someone clean up your house twice a week because you also want to be more, um, you know, you want to be more involved. You want to be more involved into the day-to-day -day, uh, workings and operations of your household. That is something that is more tangible and it's something that you can work on almost immediately. Um, so not only being productive at um, work, being productive at home. Normally people with New Year's resolutions will say something along the lines of, I want to stop being lazy in 2019. That is hard. That is something that is really hard to implement on yourself, especially if lazy is what you do. If lazy is like couch potato vibes, this is what I do, then it's going to be extremely hard to try and condense that I am going to stop being lazy by a certain amount of time when you know that you're going to you're going to struggle a little bit. But whereas if you want to make it more realistic, you say I want to be more productive. And I want to change it by doing A, B, C, D, E, F, that kind of thing. So for me, that is more, these goals are seen more as realistic goals. Let's also look at something like dating and meeting new people. So maybe you just got out of a relationship a couple of months ago and you're now walking into 2019 and you're thinking, girl, 
I want to try just, you know, date, go out. Um, this is very applicable to me in terms of just meeting new people, not the dating part, but meeting new people because I'm somebody who's an introvert. I love being at home, but at the same time, there are parts of me that feel like I really wouldn't mind meeting new people. So um, let me try at least twice a month to actually go out, have dinner with friends, um, go to a theme park, um, whatever, go to the museum, just be in a public space where you can potentially meet new people. Um, so if you're somebody who is now wanting to date, you can look at something like that as well. Like, okay, if I am dating, let me not turn away those Tinder dates or let me not turn away those whatever. If somebody says, can we meet for lunch? And you're typically somebody who's like, ah, no, 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 I'm not going to meet him for lunch. I mean, if you want to meet new people, try and tell yourself that, okay, I'm going to try to do this. This is more tangible. This is something that you can try to implement, yet you're not restricting yourself as to a time period. You're not telling yourself that this, yeah, my New Year's resolution is to meet new people. Like, for me, that just doesn't make any sense whatsoever, okay? No sense whatsoever. So, it's things like being productive, maybe changing environments, maybe uh, meeting new people, things like that tend to be looked at for me personally under a general spectrum of realistic goal setting. And when we move on to personal, personal um, goal setting, I look at things like personal development and personal growth. So things about myself that I want to change or potentially want to be better at. So me wanting to be a better version of myself, I look at the things that I am flawed in, I look at the things that I feel like I could be better in, and I look at how do I set goals to change that particular thing about myself. So for me personally, the first thing that I can think of is keeping more in touch with loved ones. Now, I keep in touch a lot. I'm very, very family oriented, but loved ones also means friends, also means keeping in touch with, you know, people that I don't see as often, but try to keep in touch with them. I don't text them as often. Let me try to text them every once in a while, just to be like, hey, checking in, how are you doing? Are you doing well? That kind of thing. So for me, keeping in touch is a very, very big personal growth development, realistic goal setting that I'm setting for myself this year and how I intend on achieving that. Making more calls, um, making more lunch dates with friends, with family members, attending family events, that kind of thing. Just being more in um, tune and in touch and more, um, you know, visible when it comes to the people that are in my life. So very, very important that is seen for me personally as a personal goal setting, realistic goal setting. Another big thing for me is also taking care of my mental health. Now, I've already taken many steps towards the end of last year and until now to take care of my mental health. For me, taking care of myself mentally is imperative and you guys should know why at this by this time. And I've already done really big steps in order to take care of myself, myself mentally and emotionally. One of them being moving. I've moved to a new space and I explained in my, um, in some video why, uh, in a vlog a little bit that it was personally to do with my mental health. I've already taken those steps. So it's things like taking care of your mental health, things like, um, keeping in touch with loved ones, doing a di digital, I just thought of this now, doing a digital detox maybe once a week or once every two weeks that for you just so that you can have time to read um which is another personal goal you want to read more that's another personal realistic goal setting you want to work out more i'm looking at my <laughs> laptop because it's got all my notes in it uh you want to work out more you want to volunteer for children's homes uh you want to volunteer for at the 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 neighborhood pet shelter you want to just those kinds of things that are more personally geared to making you a better person and making you a better version of yourself, then those for me are personal realistic goal settings. So I don't know. I'm going to end this video now. I would love to hear your opinion. What do you think in terms of New Year's resolutions and realistic achievable goal settings? Um, 
do you are you the new year's resolution kind or are you the realistic let me set my goals and let them be tangible kind such as myself i would really love to know your opinions have you set goals what have you set what goals have you set if you would like to share them in the comments down below do that but for now i'm gonna go don't forget to subscribe to the channel i really really thank you for being here and we've hit 5,000 subscribers so I'm a really, really happy chappy right now. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.